called it, uh, general rules. Yeah. RCW 2.56 and to ensure, yes, mm -hmm. the minimum service levels for the administrative justice are in place. Yeah. The administrative office of the courts is directed to conduct performance audits. Yes. Of courts under the authority of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Now you realize that the audits are performed because of the authority of the Supreme Court. Yes. And 50% of your salary as a Superior Court judge is paid, yes, from the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. In conformity with criteria and methods developed by the Board of Judicial Administration, yeah. which has been approved by the Supreme Court, yes. These general rules that I'm telling you about from the Supreme Court of Washington State, yes, this has all been approved through the Supreme Court's authority to authorize the state of Washington to pay you 50% of your salary. <laughs> now, Brent, yes, having emailed the Supreme Court, they have knowledge of forgery. Yes, ex-official Superior Court clerk and quite possibly the court commissioner. Yes, the fraud of saying that um, I was a credible risk. Yeah, the issuance of a protection order for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then this whole idea that you don't have to give an individual notice and opportunity to be heard so that you as a Superior Court judge could issue a court order. Yes, by default judgment because I did not get notice. Mm. Now, the Board of Judicial Administration in each and every state, yeah, get me all those employees, <clears throat> and the individual audits that are authorized through the Supreme Court of the 